Alright, hello everybody, this is Scott, and today we are going to do the test with F-Secure Antivirus, and I'm going to expect it to get in the 80s, maybe high 70s range. I hope I'm not disappointed. I already configured it to the maximum settings like we did in the earlier video. And I'm going to bring up an issue that people are, I, I think it's confusing people. And that was when you see the numbers and then you see how are they scanning blah, blah, blah amounts of files when there's only 99. It's fairly simple. The program will scan inside of the archives as well. We're just going to see because I don't know if it's actually gotten 30 or what. So I'm just going to click next. Oh, then it's got to do the spyware cleaning. And then the riskware click check. I, it, mm. Some items, 21, were not cleaned. Yeah, that's not an issue. Okay. Yeah, y you all did something wrong. Like, very wrong. I, you're fired. Are you freaking serious? I'm not. There we go. There we go. Now it's going to delete them. I think that what a lot of tests fail to do is they don't look at the actual cleanup and I've never really run across a program that hasn't cleaned everything up except for probably SpyBot. SpyBot's been the bane of my existence. A lot of memory and not a lot of protection. But back to what I was mentioning regarding the how it scans inside the archives, what it essentially means is that when a program scans inside the archives it doesn't mean that the program itself is infected, but that there was something added or infected within the archive itself. So, for instance, uh, let's just say I download one of these and one of the items within the archives is clean. However, there is still a fundamental issue with that. If it's only cleaning out the archives, then something is wrong because it needs to, if the whole program was treated, if the whole program has an issue, the whole program or item or whatever it is needs to be isolated. Archives would technically save it. However, if you just remove the archive, then it's useless. <sighs> Holy crap. 72 files out of 72 files out of 99 were left. That means it got 27. That sucks. That needs to be worked on. Uh, from that testing, oh yeah, this thing is not worth the money it paid for. However, I'm kind of curious about the... Yep. I forgot. I can't use Control Alt Delete in here. I should just use the Task Manager. All right. We're just. I, I'm. I'm kind of curious because generally I could tell what engines they use from their processes. They have their own engine. Hey, the scan firewall is still running. That's interesting. I thought it turned that thing off and uninstalled it. Oh, I had to still have to restart it. Okay, F Secure. That's their. Their scanner management gateway handler has process. F secure, F secure, F secure. It's only their engine. That is an issue. If you are an antivirus company, you cannot survive right now by only using one engine. You can consolidate the items from different engines and databases into one, but only having one is not going to do well and clearly this thing did not use another engine or else it probably would have scored a little bit higher than a 27 maybe the program just had a bad day but even Bitdefender who normally gets hundreds hundred perfect scores whoops on the program does far better did did worse and but still did far better than this so thank you very much for watching Please stay tuned for the next video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them in the comments below, and I will try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.